nothing kids love more than candies they can pull and stretch, which probably explains why gummy candies and licorice have always been stick-to-your-teeth favorites, except with parents who don't have a family dental plan. Everyone calls this red licorice, but there's actually no licorice root in it. The ingredients are wheat, sugar, and corn syrup, with red food dye and both artificial and natural strawberry flavoring. They cook the mixture for two hours at 102 degrees Celsius. This slowly forms a thick paste. They cool it down, then put it through extruders. The extruders work like icing nozzles, shaping the paste into a design such as the twirls we see here. A water-lubricated knife slices the continuous strips into 18 and 21 centimeter lengths. The water also rinses off any licorice buildup on the blade. The cut licorice goes on aluminum trays. The stacks of trays then go into an oven to dry for 8 hours at 60 degrees Celsius. As the excess moisture evaporates, the licorice shrivels. Workers weigh the correct amount of licorice for each package. gummy candies, they use what are called printing boards, large sheets with raised shapes. To make gummy worms, for example, they mount the gummy worm board on a stamping machine. The machine then stamps the worm shapes onto trays of cornstarch. This creates a series of cornstarch molds for the gummy worms. While that's going on, another machine mixes gelatin, sugar, corn syrup, color and flavoring and cooks the mixture at 115 degrees Celsius. A machine called the depositor pours the mixture into the cornstarch worm molds. The molds then go into a refrigerated room. In 12 to 15 hours, the candies cool and solidify. A machine then flips the candies out of the trays. The cornstarch molds disintegrate. As they fall downward, the machine sifts out the lumps, then recycles the used cornstarch into new cornstarch trays for the next batch. The candies go through a cleaner. As they spin, air nozzles blast off the cornstarch. The next drum coats the candies with mineral oil to make them shiny. Children love gummy worms because they're gooey and slippery and wiggly. But it's not just kids who are hooked on them. Many fishermen actually use them for bait. Before packaging the candies, the workers weed out any that are stretched out or stuck together. Wonder if they get to eat the rejects. <laughs>